So another company just released a state of art LLM model that outbeats latest chat GPT or GPT 4.0 and it's called Cloud 3.5 Sonic. And as you might have already guessed, it's from Anthropic. So yes, Anthropic just five days ago released an absolutely amazing new LLM model that outbeats GPT and literally every single other model. Like if you look at the benchmarks in here from 3.5 Sonnet compared to GPT 4.0 or Gemini 1.5 Pro or even Llama 400B. So the 3.5 Sonnet is like literally outbeating GPT 4 in a lot of benchmarks from like graduate level reasoning to undergraduate level knowledge mmlu to code here for human evaluation like 92 percent compared to 90 percent the only thing i can see as far as missing out in here is the math problem solving so gpt 4.0 in here is still taking the lead and not only that they also release this really awesome feature that I call artifacts that allows you to run the code generated by the llm right on the hand side in here immediately and you can actually ask us to make changes and this one is pretty much interactive and it gives you the code allows you to run the code even run svgs html or javascript and if you don't know already the 3.5 sonnet is the new successor of the previous three sonnet which belongs to the cloud family and yes, you can go and actually try it for free. And on Twitter, you can find people going crazy with a new model in here and actually trying cool stuff from like building a space shape game in here to actually doing like 3D game, 3D graphics. Um, I don't know, what is this? Marketing AI agents to QR codes to Tetris games. A lot is actually happening with this one. And I think the model is cooking it because it's so advanced. So for instance, I wanted to try this Tetris sort of model thing in here where the guy is basically asking it, oh, can you make a simple game of Tetris in React's 1800 style? So let's go and give it a try. I'm gonna actually do, I'm gonna ask it, can you make a Tetris game in React? Or should I say a simple Tetris game in React? And I'm gonna do dots, so 1800 style. And of course, before you do that, you need to make sure that you've actually enabled the like the feature preview. And if you go to your account feature preview, make sure to enable artifacts in here. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get that really awesome interactive mode. So if you click enter, let it, I don't know, cook for a little bit of time in here. So there you go. So after just altering the prompts in here a little bit, because the first one didn't actually work because this is still in beta, I think, and has a little bit of issues. But after altering this one into like, oh, can you create a simple Tetris game in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, then you use the display HTML function to display it. I try to be a little bit more specific exactly what they need to do. And there we go. So we got the Tetris game in here. As you said, it's, it's completely playable. So I can move my, you know, the blocks in here with my arrow keys. I can rotate, rotate them with Z. It's absolutely so much fun. So like this was just built using AI completely by just AI with no human interference with a single prompt in a couple of seconds. That is just mind blowing of what AI can do nowadays. And I think I'm going to lose on this Tetris game. And even when I had tried to create a simple self-playing snake game with HTML CSS and JavaScript, and there you go, it actually displays that. And the snake is like moving by itself. And it tries to eat the food in here, it, which is super fun. And this again, and this again, is just mind blowing. Now, for example, because we're all developers and we love this kind of stuff where we generate code or generate like, you know, UI components with AI. So I'm, I'm gonna try to generate a dark mode login page with email password or Google login or GitHub login. And I'm telling it specifically to use Tailwind CSS and React. So let's see how that one does. Hopefully it's gonna give us something cool because I've seen some Twitter posts that it does excel when it comes to Tailwind CSS components and stuff. So let's see how that goes. And there you go. So this is actually what we've got. This is the login page. So the first try was not successful because it tried to use like an external icon library like lucid icon library which wasn't available of course because you can you need to set up the environment and install the dependencies so after instructing it telling it oh please do not use external icons or any libraries now it actually gave us the right landing page in here with a really nice design um i like the layout in here i like the icons and it gave us in here or or continue with i think this is google and this is gh is for like github so yeah i think that's that's pretty interesting and you can view the code from the other side as well so probably this will be my new sort of coding assistance because that is just outperforming it by a lot and i even tried to use it with this new chat 
your eyes sort of library in here that alluded to basically use like different providers or models from like Anthropic, OpenAI, Mistral, like so many of them, literally all of them. And it gives you the ability to use tools like web search or display an image or display HTML. So like there's a plethora of tools in here and I really, really like this tool. So it's actually an open source. If you want to check it out, you can go to GitHub. You're going to find link in the description below in here. And it's really easy to, you know, work with this one. You can either access it from the website in here that is self-hosted or you can run it locally by yourself and you can include or incorporate whatever tools you like, which is actually very nice. So here what I asked it is, oh, can you search Google for images of dogs and show me one? Uh, and actually the first one, it failed for showing me this. So I instructed it to say, oh, please try again. And I made sure that I went ahead and actually chose these tools like the web search and the display image. So the first output in here did the web search. It tried to go through on different websites in here, brought the dog related images, which was absolutely perfect. And of course, this is all powered by the cloud 3.5 Sonnet. So everything is running or being run by that LLM. It's actually the mind that's moving the parts. The second one is actually, you know, displaying one of these images. And there you go, so it's actually using one of the tools. This is if you wanna see the, the code or stuff, but this is like the image that it got, the really cute sort of dog image, which is actually very amazing. So I really like this tool in here. I try to give it a shot and it's absolutely perfect. So I, so yes, if you want like a third party tool in here to play around with it and, and maybe customize it however you like, this is the tool for you. So I'm really excited to see the first competition between OpenAR or ChatGPT and Anthropic Cloud and what it's actually gonna do for us because I'm pretty sure this competition is gonna bring absolutely amazing stuff for us and it's gonna take AI to the next level, maybe AGI very soon, we'll see. So if you have any demos or examples or cool stuff you created using Anthropic or the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, let me know down in the comments. I would love to check them out.